Hi there. Let's talk about Hangouts on Air and events and what they are and how you go about building them. So as a big overview, what a Hangout on Air event is, it's a lot like a gathering place. It's a place where people come together, they gather to watch a show. It's a lot like a concert hall where you can come together and you can interact with people in the audience, even before the show, maybe during an intermission or after. So that's something that I really like about the way Hangouts on Air and events work together. And in a traditional sense, it's a landing page. It's a place where you can point people online and they can land there and do what you're asking them to do, which in this instance is, in this case, watch a show. So another way to look at what Hangout on Air events are, it's a way to package your Hangout on Air broadcasts. And another way is to think about it this way. It helps facilitate an online broadcast, which usually, usually utilizes dates and times. And these are very important aspects when it comes to events, when they tie into your Hangout on Air. So let's take a quick look. What are we going to be talking about here? We're talking about what these are. We'll talk about why you would choose one over the other in the private training. But this is going to be used for public consumption. So we're going to talk about real fast what are the three types that we're going to be using, and then we'll look at how we build them. And here we go. So we start out with the top one, Google Plus Scheduled Hangout on Air event, many times referred to as a SHOE, or S-H-O-A-E. That's the first type we'll look at. Then we'll look at a Google Plus traditional event with a Hangout on Air included or attached. And then we have the last one, which is called a YouTube Live event. All right, so let's take a quick look at the very first one, the SHOE. Scheduled Hangout on Air event. How do you go about building these things? It's on the very left side inside Google+. You pull down the drop-down menu to where the big number one is and says Hangouts. You click on Hangouts, which then goes to where the big number two is. You see a blue button. It says Start Hangout on Air, which, by the way, should say Start a Hangout on Air event because you're not actually starting the broadcast. But then we go to number three, and it opens up this little event building tool, in essence, where we're going to invite in the public, any communities, we're going to type in our text, etc. And when we share that, it builds this kind of a thing. Now, I'm going real fast, and I'm not talking about all the details. That's something we do in much more detail in the mastery area. But we're trying to give you a feel for what's going on. This is the look for a scheduled Hangout on Air event. It's got a built-in video player. It's got graphics up on the top if you've added it. And it's got the ability to add in video trailers and all kinds of good stuff. And then when you're ready to start your show as a host, you go to this big blue button on the bottom left, and you start the process, which gets you into what's called the green room. The other type of event, the traditional one that you build on Google+, again, left side, drop down. This time we're going to choose the events menu instead of the other one, which we did from the Hangouts menu. So number one, click on events. That Let's slide underneath this little section, and we go to the upper right area where there's a blue button. It says create event, the big number two. Once you've created the event, then the pop-up shows up, which has a bunch of different options. And we can add in what's called a YouTube URL, which is how we connect our Hangout on Air broadcast into this type of event. It's not as automated as the other one. So events, create event number two, and number three, fill in the stuff. And then you'll end up with something that looks similar to this, where you've got your banner on the top, you've got a built-in video because you connected them, and then when you're ready to start your show, you actually have to go outside the event to start it into the area that we're about to look at now, which is called YouTube Live Events. So here's the third kind, YouTube Live Events. This is done on the YouTube side. You pull down on the left edge to where you're in your video manager and then find your live events area. That's the big number one. You click on that. Eventually, you click in the upper right where it says new live event, where the big number two is. Then you'll end up seeing this area where you fill in the details. Number three, you get to choose public, unlisted, or private. That's a big deal. Private's a big deal. You want to make sure the type is what's called quick. And then on the upper right where it says create event, that then builds what you were seeing here, these little list of events, which we then can go later. See the button I'm sort of circling here where it says start a Hangout on Air. So that's done inside the YouTube Live event interface. It builds something that looks like this. This is sort of the event or the landing page. It looks a lot like a video. In fact, it is. And it's got a countdown timer that says four days and uh, two minutes and 38 seconds before this was going to go live. Okay, so that's what you see when you build or create a YouTube Live event. Now, 
join us in the Hangout Mastery area because we're going to take this kind of training and we're going to archive it when we go into a lot more detail about the why. Why would you choose one over the other and how do you work with them all together? But the quick overview for public consumption, here it is. We hope you'll join us. You can get there easily in the bit.ly link, bit.ly slash hangoutmastery. We hope to see you there. Please come visit and sign up today.